tired. I'm sick of it. This complete stranger came over. He made me laugh and asked me what I needed. I had just lost my ability to speak. I needed a speech-enabled computer that can also keep me connected to the internet. Within a few weeks to arrange for me to have my computer delivered to my door. He really cares. To me it was like somebody gave me a death sentence. But I was not about to quit. I asked for money to remodel the bathroom. Within two weeks the check was in my hand. I tried to tell him that's too, let's hold on. Let me get the estimates and stuff. He said, I thought, do whatever you want to do with the money. It's yours. When I met my first ALS patient, I was so blown away. I just couldn't get him out of my mind. Unable to move, just staring at the walls, not able to talk. I can't even go a minute without scratching a niche. These poor people can't move a muscle. They have to blink to communicate, yes or no. I, I just couldn't stand thinking about it. So I had to help. I think this is a horrible, cruel, cruel disease. I don't want anything to keep me here longer like this. I was completely shocked to find out I was pregnant the same day I was diagnosed with a L S. I did not know if I would be alive to see Clay's next birthday. The ALS makes you paralyzed from head to toe, takes everything out of you, even takes your ability to blink your eye. I had no idea how many muscles I had and what they helped me to do till I got ALS. And the courage that so many of these people find um, to persevere with this thing without complaining. Um, it, it's amazing. Our son Scott was diagnosed with ALS in 2007. I contacted Stu and he was happy to send Scott and his family to California and surprise his son for his 21st birthday. I just wanted to thank Stu and the ALS Guardian Angels. For sending my family to California for my son's 21st birthday. We had a wonderful time. And we could not have done it without Stu. There are only 35,000 ALS victims in the country, and most of them are incapacitated. A lot of them can't communicate, and they don't attract the sympathy that they should have. And this disease, it's a beast. He has given me a freedom of, from, of living. People need vacation. He arranges vacations for them. People who need attorney or legal help, he arranges attorneys for them. Jerry was ALSGA's first patient. He was a proud naval officer until ALS struck. He's now paralyzed, unable to breathe or speak on his own. His wife and two young children could not afford to remain in their home. ALSGA gave them the help they needed to stay. Kathy worked full-time while taking care of her son who had kidney failure. Her ALS progressed until she was unable to drive her modified van. ALSGA had it remodified, 
She can now continue working and drive her son to all of his dialysis treatments. Olya is in her 20s and lives in the Ukraine. If she was to continue breathing, she needed special equipment. It was not legal to import it into her country. ALSGA smuggled it in. We're not saying any more about it. Alan was a veteran in his 50s. When we found him, he was paralyzed and eating with his face in a dish. The VA told us his application for help would be reviewed in a year. I then spoke with those in charge. The next day, he had full-time, around-the-clock care, and two weeks later, he was moved into a beautiful home that cares for patients with ALS. Steve's dying wish was to take his wife and two daughters to the shore for one last family vacation. ALSGA made his dream come true. They had a great time. Steve passed away a few months later. Megan was diagnosed at 17. Eventually, she became completely paralyzed and unable to speak. She hadn't had a shower in years. ALSGA had a shower installed that would accommodate her. She used it continuously for over a year. Megan passed away in July 2011 while still in her 20s. Due to the financial burden of ALS, many families cannot afford holiday celebrations. ALSGA guarantees that those families have holidays they'll never forget. Presents for the kids, dinner with all the trimmings, and maybe a loved one flown in to make the holiday even more joyous. Hajimi's family came to the United States from Japan. While a junior in high school, he was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of ALS. He just wanted to see his relatives in Japan one last time. ALSGA immediately arranged for the whole family to travel to Japan. There just wasn't enough time. Hajimi is now living in a hospital, unable to move, speak, or breathe on his own. He is 18 years old. We told the family to use the funds allocated for the trip as they see fit. We'll be helping them until the end. Kevin Connell lives in Louisiana and has ALS. His son Sean was being deployed to Afghanistan for the third time. He did everything possible to be stationed stateside with Dad. He was rejected at every level. The family reached out to ALSGA for help. Within a few weeks, we were able to get Sean stationed in Louisiana for the rest of his military career. The work ALSGA does is amazing, and I want everyone to know. They gave me the opportunity to see my favorite singer. And get a signed autograph with style. This will always be one of my favorite memories. I had a lady living alone and uh, in a rural area, no family, not many friends around got to the point where she just couldn't stay at home anymore. Um, she couldn't talk, she couldn't communicate, couldn't move. Um, she had all this equipment that needed, um, you know, maintaining. So they moved her into a hospice. I went to visit her at that hospice, and every time I would look at her, there were tears coming down her eyes, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. So I decided I was gonna go to her house, and, um, bring some mementos and pictures in, hopefully to cheer her up. Now she had this little dog that was her life. And I walked into the house and the little dog was lying there dead. When they moved her out of the house, nobody thought that there was a little dog that needed taken care of. Um, they just moved, they moved her into the hospice, her health aide left, and this poor little dog was just uh, left alone. Um, and died, died of thirst, died of hunger, uh, and she was trying to communicate. She was grunting, crying, somebody please help my dog, it's there alone, and, and that was about as heartbreaking as can be. So I help, you know, personally, and, and sometimes that's more important than any financial aid. This is the Sullivan family. Dad died from ALS and mom died a few months later, leaving two preschool children, twin brothers Mark and Mike, and a daughter Anne, 19. 
Then the beast caught up with the twins. Now taking care of the stricken brothers, Anne found another ALS patient in an institution and took him home. Under the stress of it all, she collapsed and needed a pacemaker installed. We heard about her and called to help. We later found out she had breast cancer and needed a mastectomy. However, she continued to care for the family. She called me not long ago, never mentioning she had ovarian cancer and needed a hysterectomy. Mike died this year. Mark is near the end. We pray the boys haven't inherited the ALS gene. ALSGA will take care of this family until it is no longer necessary. But there were many, many times that uh, I had to go back and Stu would call me and say, do you need me to help you? Let me send you an airline ticket. Most ALS foundations and charities focus on finding a cure. But there's no cure in sight. And people need help living with this disease. And so that's what I'm trying to do, help people live with the disease as best they can for as many years as they have left and try to improve the quality of life uh, as best I can. He probably does more for ALS patients than MDA or any other organization is or big time multi-billion organization is doing. One of the things that I'm real clear about is that every less money that comes, every less dime that comes into this foundation goes to help the patients. We have no salaries. I take no expenses. Uh, there mm. are uh, plenty uh, of people uh, who uh, have uh, no, money. Uh, they, they aren't. aren't. Uh, they don't uh, have uh, the heart. Uh, Hey, 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 You know, I think all the able-bodied people out there that are, you know, their problems and my problems are so trivial uh, compared to these people.